hitting the topics of um, hitting the topic of uh, people being homosexual, gay, or lesbian. Uh, how do we deal um, in a scenario where we have to speak with a person like this, or they ask about our beliefs, and how do we act towards this person, this certain person? Because I talked about the earlier subject, I'll speak to that. Uh, this is a very common experience. I have it with people for whom I have high regard, not members of the church. Um, I think the best way to deal with that is to recognize that there are a lot of, of mistaken beliefs about the position of our church. Uh, as being homophobic or hostile to people who, who uh, declare a different sexual orientation. And, and I think the first thing that you would do in a conversation with that kind of person is to say, look, uh, I take at face value what you told me about your beliefs and your desires and so on. And the first principle of our church is choice, agency, I honor your choices. I don't want to be an enemy to you. I want to be your friend. But you've asked about the doctrine of our church, and I hope you have the same respect for the doctrine of our church that I have for your opinions. And the doctrine of our church is that only marriage between a man and a woman can lead to the highest degree of glory in the celestial kingdom, which is what I want to strive for. Now that doesn't affect you because you don't know anything about what I would call exaltation in the celestial kingdom. You don't believe that. So since you don't believe that, you're in no position to understand the doctrine of our church. If you want to know more about that, I can arrange for, for somebody who will teach you about the doctrine of our church. But please don't misunderstand my striving for the highest degree of glory that I believe in only be achieved by marriage between a man and a woman, not by anything short of that. So if you can uh, get over the idea that I hate you or I don't respect you because of what you are or what you believe, and then point out that the doctrine of our church doesn't say that people who don't believe the way we do are going to hell. We have a better uh, concept of a kingdom of glory than than any Christian church preaches, almost everyone is going to a kingdom of glory. That's a better um, concept than heaven or hell, which is generally what is preached in the Christian faith. So we have a doctrinal framework different from what they assume. Set it in order as well as you can and get over the idea that we hate you because you believe differently. 